A refugee crisis, that's what an organization who helps refugees is calling the increase of Central American women and children fleeing their countries. As Action 7 News reporter Regina Varese explains, the organization says the family facility in Artesia is not the answer. Central American women fleeing their countries with children as young as infants in hand, making a 2,000 mile dangerous journey to America. No mother would ever put their child in that sort of danger unless they felt they had no choice. And that's really clear to us when we speak to these mothers. They are desperate. They know it's a dangerous journey for their children, but they feel it's the only way to give their children a chance at survival. Many of these families come from Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador. Those countries all rank in the top five for highest murder rates in the entire world. A lot of these women have undergone really, really horrific, horrific abuse. And, um, I mean, they're terrified. They're trying to get their children away from that because they feel certain that if they stay behind, it's going to be worse. Now, Immigration and Customs Enforcement is outfitting the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Artesia to be a family processing facility. We take a very strong position against the use of detention for families. A family detention facility in Texas was shut down in the early 2000s after being sued by the ACLU. Michelle Brené talked to children at that facility back then. So the stress was enormous. The kids were really scared. And the kids also felt that their parents weren't able to protect them. Many will be seeking asylum in the United States. She says that matches a refugee crisis situation. In any refugee flow as well, you see like a gradual increase. It starts with children. It starts with women and children. And then, you know, you see a sort of increase and then you hit a tipping point when the, the numbers just spike. And the Women's Refugee Organization says we're at that point. And it's time for America to fulfill its obligation to help refugees fleeing violence. Reporting in Albuquerque, Regina Ruiz, Action 7 News. The Women's Refugee Organization says it plans to fly from New York to New Mexico soon to help the families at the Artesia facility.